Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Codexual, and today we're going to be showing you how to speed up your computer, check for anything malicious, such as rootkits, viruses, any types of that factor. So we're going to be using the default programs and why they're so beneficial and it's free. You don't necessarily need Norton or McAfee if anybody still uses that, but any antivirus slash firewall is better than nothing. But if I were to make a recommendation is to have malware bytes and we'll get that into the second. So let's work with the programs that we have already have in front of us that is already implemented in the computer. And if you guys haven't already hit the red button that says subscribe, hit the post notification. So every time that I upload a video or I go live, you'll be notified. Now, if you do see me live, come through on the live stream, hang out or ask me some uh, technical questions and I'll answer them best to my ability as long as it fits within a ethical scope anything that's you know malicious or anything like that I won't be answering so don't don't even think about that other than that like and share on your social media okay so let's go ahead and begin first thing I want to bring up is our MS config and just go ahead and type that in the search it'll say system configurations now, I always like to use this program because back in Windows 7, XP, and Vista, the startups used to be right here. So let's uh, talk about these general settings. You have these three options. I would go with selective startup and just use the load system services and load startup items because that's where we're going to be modifying. And as for the boots, we're not worried about the boot, but as for the services, so if we were to right click on taskbar, right? And these are basically all these services that are currently running. So if we click on status, you'll see what is currently running. And if you scroll down here, it's, it's something that the background processes and all the stuff that you don't necessarily see. So what is what and which is what and how do you determine what is bad or good? Well, with a smart developer, especially with when it comes to rootkits, they will implement a code that will inject itself into um, a process such as explore.exe or even ie.e or iexplore.exe or your default web browser such as Google Chrome. So there are ways around this, but if you end up you know, clicking on some bad coded malware that it doesn't even inject itself into the process, then, you know, there's more of a chance that we can just, you know, end it all together. So with this, all you have to do is search through of what you trust and what you don't trust. So let's just say if it's a bad coded malware or root kit, what have you, all you gotta do is, you know, click on hide all Microsoft services and see what services you want um, running. So I know all these services quite well. I don't have to click out at any of them, but if you just want your computer to run faster, period, just go ahead and click disable. So it's all based on like if there was Skype or if you have um, some type of messenger that people still use, like do people, is Yahoo Messenger still a thing? Anyways, um, the more startups you have, the slower your PC will become. So disabling all of this or the stuff that you don't use will help make your computer run faster. And it's a 50-50 chance where it could actually eliminate that rootkit or that virus. Um, again, viruses can attach themselves towards Windows programs or Windows processes. So be just be advised. Additionally, as for the startup, so this plays hand in hand. So you gotta go to the startup and open up the task manager, which we already have opened up, and go to the startup. So this is what will start up every time that your computer starts up. So do you recognize a program that's legitimate? Leave it enabled. Or do you want your computer to run faster? Then just disable all programs or disable the programs that you don't want to run. Um, and if you see some sketchy program, just go ahead and just disable it. All you gotta do is just click on this let's just pretend that we don't want this anymore and we just want to disable it on startup simple so I did not know stream deck was by Corsair so Elgato is by Corsair hmm something interesting anyways so 
uh, keep that in mind that's hand in hand and this will help you know speed up the computer here or even eliminate a potential virus so let's go ahead and click out of that what if we want to start looking for that virus through a little bit more advanced um, startup we want to open up our reg registry keys so reg edit and we're gonna go ahead and run as administrator and there's two keys so it's gonna be under your uh, H key current user and it will be under system or excuse me software then we want to scroll down where it says we'll say Windows or if I am okay so it's gonna be Microsoft then it'll be Windows I don't know this on the top of my head. Uh, then it will be Windows, then current version. Then let's move this towards the right. And it'll say run and run once. So run. So here are the registries that you can uh, end the end the startup. And you, all you gotta do is just delete it. It, it won't ruin your um, computer or anything like that. It'll just cut the startup completely and even under run once now additionally it's under another um, is it under local machine I think it's under local machine then it's under software and Microsoft then Windows then current version so Windows and the current version then run and run once uh, ours so so do these things in the same pathway and you know just get rid of what you don't want to start up so make sure you do that as well now as for networking goes um, I'll go ahead and close out of that as for networking goes what we need to discuss is we need to open up the command prompt run as administrator and we are going to be using the command net stat dash B and what this will do it will pull in IPv4 or IPv6 and it'll show you um, what processes it's running on so it should be dash B okay yeah that was right so what what um outlook.exe is that you know is that a virus or is that something legit it's something legit because Outlook is Microsoft Outlook for checking your emails. So it goes out to this connection here and through an IMAPS protocol. Uh, what about video.ui? So it's an IPv6 and this is where, okay, so this is from the local machine and this is where it's reaching out towards to. So how can I tell if this is legit or not? Basically, this is going to be a little bit of networking. So um, this is how you can tell what connections are going out in a command line interface. So how about programs that these will definitely help you with? Um, install malware bytes. It's free for 14 days for the professional version. Then it'll downgrade to the free version. All these stuff will be free. Um, so you might as well take advantage of the trial version. It's no, they're not gonna be asking for credit cards or anything like that. And links will be in the description as well. So malware bytes offers that 14 day free trial stuff with real time and blah, 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 blah. So it will look for web protections. If you go towards like a phishing scamming page um, and exploit protection. So if a rootkit comes through, um, or if there is some type of vulnerability of a services that you're running and someone happened to port scan you, um, this will somewhat help out with that because there's gonna be like an incoming connection like do you trust or do you not? That's where this also comes into play. Glassware, um, or excuse me, glass wire, I should say. So um, again, this is free and it shows you what comes um, in and what goes out. And also the, the awesome thing about that is if I were to open up a program for the first time ever, it will alert me of that. So what do I want to open up that will ask for a connection? Let's open up Epic Games. And it should come up with a little thing down here. Or how about you play? Okay. 
it's definitely going to pop up with like alert. This is for the first time running. And you can also see, um, see right there, first activity um, and right here. And it'll even show you where what host it's connecting to. So I like that, that it shows me what exactly it's reaching out to. And is this connection good? Is it bad? Is it something that I should trust? Is it something that I should block? So it does that with any program that it would see a connection ingoing or outgoing. Like I can't recommend this program enough. So um, I believe that there's even bandwidth monitoring and there's firewall protection. So you can see what uh, connections are going out and you can just like click on the, the firewall here and it'll cut that connection out completely. So I wouldn't even get a, uh, with Google Chrome, I can't simply go towards a, um, a website. So uh, there's also that in mind. So if you see like some type of malicious malware, malware, um, you can cut it right there. So that's what I like about that. Um, go ahead and close out of these two. A CC cleaner, it'll just, you know, that will help you clean up your system. Any uh, tracking cookies, make sure, um, make sure that you always have the latest version of everything. So it'll scan um, your registries if there's any uh, problems missing DSL or DLLs. So there's a whole list right here. Um, I, I can't recommend CC cleaner enough. So have that, it'll definitely help out with your performance as well for a speeding process. And now for the last thing that I want to show you is SpyBot Anti-Beacon. What Anti-Beacon um, provides, it will block telemetries. So Windows 10 was free uh, when they were rolling that out. Basically Windows 10 is a gigantic legal botnet for Microsoft to collect third party user or to collect data on you and sell it to third parties and to um, market on. So basically, you know, um, the more that we use Cortana, the more that we're implementing the Microsoft system, the more that we use Siri, the more that we're implementing the um, Siri system with its search functionality so that's where all the ai is coming from even that we use google a whole ton it builds on that database of what people are looking up and what they're trying to suggest and they're just trying to sell you this and that that and this that's what you see in ads so not only it blocks out that services from microsoft collecting that data on you what you can do on here, if we open up our notepad, and I'm gonna run as administrator, and I'm going to open up my host files, uh, just in case of something, okay. So we're gonna open up the host files here. And there's some stuff that I'm just gonna get rid of so it doesn't display on screen. So this is what your host files essentially looks like. It's just completely empty. Um, what this will do is it will add out all of the known host files that it'll, or all of the services, DNSs, domain names that is spying you on, and it will null them out with the zero IP, then the domain, and whatever if the domain that I reach out towards to it's not going to be collecting information about anything that I look up so and that's just me inactively leaving my computer on and it's not sending out those reports to those third-party services so that's where this comes into play and I can't recommend this program enough like out of anything in general I would honestly have this for, I, I don't know what I was getting at. I was gonna compare this with everything else, but there's really no comparison because um, everything is different functionality. I'm just saying that this is really important and that you should have it. Um, I've gone through greater details on this on another video. Um, so let me go ahead and put my host files back. And all I gotta do is just, you know, click on anti-beacon and I'll just block out everything. So, 
uh, 38 out of 69 what do else I need to block out so there goes through like Microsoft services so if you end up can't using a certain service this is where you're going to block out all of those um, enable or permit such services so if you end up having something that you can't use anymore then go through this and you know it's either permit it or block it out so just you can do full which I normally do and what is this background accent what does that exactly do um using the background access application the immunizer you can stop Microsoft 10 from starting some apps in the background yes I would like to stop Microsoft completely I don't I don't want them knowing my stuff even biometrics yep uh, Cortana I don't care about Cortana so map auto update you can block out oh hold on, okay uh, no nah, I'm gonna leave that blocked so after you get everything that you want selected all you gotta do is click done and it will block out everything for you mostly everything because there's now more stuff anyways so even with glassware if a host file was modified it would let you know so that's one thing that I like about that anyways guys that'll do it that'll be it for this video if you guys like it do share like um, subscribe and whatnot and I hope to see you in the next video so take security seriously I'll talk about another video about security about checking your passwords and why it's important and all this other stuff so um, take this video seriously and I'll see you guys in the next video y'all take care Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.